So today I'm going to be talking a little about WordPress, how to install it, and uh, what it kind of looks like and, and how you can use it for your website. And I'm going to start off with the installation right now. Okay, here we are in our control panel. Going to hit databases, MySQL, create database. Now this might look a little different than your control panel, but they all basically do the same thing. We're going to select MySQL version 5.0, put in our description, and create a MySQL database and username. We're going to put a password. This could be anything you want. And select OK. Now we're going to come back here in a minute. We're going to press Edit. And it's going to actually tell us our database host name and that's the local host or server URL for your WordPress blog. Okay now we are going to download WordPress I'm going to open up the folder I'm going to drag all of this either to the main directory if you want to create a, a blog site or if you just want a, uh, a subdomain you drag it to your subdomain folder like blog or blog site or whatever you want. So we go to our FTP program and you can either just drag it all in there or create a new folder. Okay, we open up that and just drag everything over there. Okay, now that WordPress is uploaded to our server We go to the domain. It's going to ask us to create a configuration file. Click that button. Database name is all in our hosting account. Password and our database host. And that's this little guy right here. A lot of the time this is going to be localhost. But for GoDaddy it's a little different. So we hit submit. That looks like everything's working fine. We hit run in the install. And WordPress is now installed in our computer. So we create a blog title. Uh, put your email address in. So install WordPress. That's going to give you a username and password. Admin is always the uh, default username. We're going to copy this password really quick. Click login. That's going to ask me a username, password, login. And the first thing you're going to see is that you have an auto generated password for your account. So you're going to want to change that. Create a new password. And click update profile. That way next time you log in you're going to actually know your password. Okay, now that we have WordPress all installed, I'm going to go over a few different things to set it up completely. Now if you have an, uh, an old blog, I'm going to show you how to import the old blog. Um, but if you're just starting out, it's really easy, and I'll go over that too. Um, we'll go over a little bit of the design, uh, some plugins, and some SEO tips on it. Okay, now that we have WordPress all installed, um, you can see that this is the, the dashboard section of the back end admin section. Um, there's a quick overview of what's going on in your site create posts, upload media, create new pages, adjust the appearance, go to your plugins and then all of the settings. Usually when you upload a, a plugin, you'll see all the settings in this section over here. So first of all, what we're gonna do is import another blog. Um, let's just say we upgraded to WordPress and we had another WordPress.com blog. All we do is go to import, click WordPress, and we choose the file. Now this is something that you would have already downloaded from your other WordPress blog site. So choose that. 
upload file and import. So you can see it imported everything. It's all done. So if we actually go to the website itself, this is what a standard WordPress website looks like. You can look back at the admin. Now if we want to adjust the appearance of the site, there is a ton of themes that are available. Just click on add new themes. Just find themes. You can see all of these themes that are available to, to us. Install it. Install now. And we can activate it. You can see that that is now our current theme. When we click on our website, it's fairly easy to, to change what your what, what your website looks like. Now we're going to go back to our admin section, but now we got plugins. Let's add a couple new ones. All in one SEO. There, install it. And it automatically installs and downloads everything for you. So you click activate plugin. And we have to make sure that we configure it. So it says go to the admin page and configure this. Let's go update options. And we're all set. The next plugin I'm going to show you is the Google Analytics plugin. We're going to install that. Install now. And activate it. Now, once again, we go down to our settings. Click on the ultimate Google Analytics. And we can put in our account ID. Now you can go to advanced configuration and you can see there's a lot of different options. And then you just click update options. Next one we're going to do is the WordPress slideshow. WordPress gallery slideshow. this does is it lets us take our images that we want to upload to our website and it creates a nice slideshow for it. So we go to our media tab and see that we have a new selection called slideshow. I'm going to adjust the dimensions and say 620 by 340. Go to save changes and we're set Click Add New. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to upload media, select some files. Okay, so we're done uploading the images. And now that we're done uploading all the images, we click Save All Changes. And we have a couple different options. We could insert each one individually, or we could insert a gallery, or you could use your slideshow. So all you have to do is click slide in between brackets, publish, and now we're going to check it out. You can see that now we have our slideshow. That's it. Changing pages is also pretty much exactly the same. Add a new page. Publish it. And we're done. That's our new page. Well, I hope you got a lot out of that. That is WordPress, and that's all for today.